Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 1st, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Hope you all had a great day today. Looking here at the sun, large coronal hole moving in. We've got action all over the world right now. Taiwan, most recently with a 5.1 at a 24 kilometer depth. Following more movement in Indonesia. One was just recorded as I was rec recording this video. Another one in Indonesia. We've got action in Greece, 4.2. And we've got Mexico and also this rare Poth, Texas, 3.0 earthquake at a five kilometer depth. We've got a lot of action going on in that area right now. A lot of tornado warnings. So I'll get to that in a moment. But I'm look, also looking at a lot of action here, Cascadia and San Andreas fault line. Yesterday we had the 4.0 in Oregon, but we just keep seeing more movement every day in this area. And also we've got Old Faithful who has spat out yet another geyser. And that's the third time in the last, I believe, three months or three to six months, but that is unheard of. Uh, normally it's around once every six months, maybe twice in six months, but a lot of action there. Also looking at the deep earthquakes in Vanuatu and reverberation heading north northeast through Papua New Guinea. So yeah, one, two, three, four very sizable earthquakes in New Zealand and Raoul Island. Looking here for the very deep earthquake, which I found in Fiji. That was the 5.9 earthquake at a 578 kilometer depth. That's a very deep earthquake. Over the next 24 hours, we're going to be looking definitely at a large, shallow earthquake. Just like the 5.8 that we got in the Pacific Ridge, Pacific and Antarctic Ridge. But stay aware and prepared, folks. Have a plan because these large earthquakes can happen to you. Every fault line around the world is reacting due to the sun, magma movement, fault line movement on Earth, but also we've got Jupiter coming in alignment with Earth. We're definitely gonna see a lot of action over here in the next couple weeks. I'm gonna leave you here looking at some beautiful solar images. Thanks to Soho. And here are the tornado warnings that have been popping off for the last six hours, actually eight hours now. A lot of action. Pretty vigorous low pressure system moving out of Nebraska, heading east, northeast towards Michigan and Ohio. Watch for a lot of severe thunderstorms, hail, lightning strikes, Extreme weather is upon us. We gotta be ready for these types of events. So stay aware and prepared. Let's just scoot around the world here. We're gonna look at all the latest flood alerts, fire alerts from around the world. Not much in Eastern Canada, except for New Brunswick flood. But we're also looking at the floods in the Kashishuin, First Nation, 
northwestern Ontario, floods in southern Alberta, and also looking at floods in Montana, western Montana. So North America seems to be getting some rain, but down in Arizona, it's hot and some fires have broken out in Flagstaff, Arizona, and also in Palm Springs. And here, this is a NASA satellite imagery from today. You can see here large smoke plumes heading out from the one, two, three major fires. Phoenix, Arizona. Just going to show you a satellite image of yesterday's. And then today as the fires broke out overnight. Around the world we go. I'm just gonna leave you here with all the alerts from around the world. I wanna thank all of my subscribers for tuning in every day to Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, talking about extreme weather and disaster alerts from around the world as I like to stay aware and share my research with you, the world. Subscribers in 143 countries, and I am grateful for every single one of them. So during my research here, I uh, just happened to look over the Pacific Ocean today, and I wish I had the picture from last year because this kind of anomaly happened last year around this time. Now look right here in the West Pacific here. I'm just gonna zoom in. So yeah, that tail looking thing, almost like an elephant's trunk. But yeah, just a strange weather cloud anomaly that I happened to find. And it's not the first time I've seen it. So I just wanted to share that with you. The last time I saw it, it was closer towards the coastline. But yeah, um, across Alberta and across Canada, uh, there's sporting events, landscaping, uh, construction, home building, everything is about a month behind due to the weather. Um, sports teams and leagues across the city here in Calgary have postponed their soccer seasons, baseball seasons, everything for at least Hi there. For at least uh, you know three weeks, the ground is still frozen. Uh, most of the fields are still covered in snow. Golf courses still covered in snow. It's crazy, man. Hashtag Grand Solar Minimum. So many. But thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Hit that notification bell, hit that like button. Stay young and have fun. Get your morning due. Bye-bye.